Hi, welcome back. My name is Srikant. In the previous videos, uh, we were looking at the detailed information about Serious View Association. And also, we looked at the uh, limitations of uh, Serious View Associations. In today's session, we are going to understand another limitation of having uh, that is going to be a substring function. Uh, in fact, uh, several string functions um, having this limitation and using uh, CDS views. Let's take a look at the string functions available uh, in above CDS views. It's going to open the help.sap uh, documentation. So here we've got uh, some of the concatenation functions in string left and trimming and also substring functions. So most of the functions where uh, the arguments are um, um, transformed to a different value using position and also length. So these position and length uh, parameters are always going to be literals. You cannot have a variable or you cannot have a, a formula uh, in the place of these parameters position and length. So with that restriction, um, anytime you're going to use these functions, it is going to be always literal value, literal values. The positive literal values are one, two, three, four the numbers. You'll have to hard code them every time you use the string functions. Let's take a, um, an example and understand this limitation. And, and then how do we uh, uh, overcome this limitation in above serious views? So I'm going to access uh, above on HANA system. And then I'm going to create a new CDS view for this example. I'll say new data definition. So I can say uh, substring function limitation. Say so next, and then next, and then finish. I'm gonna grab the code from my notepad file. This is a very simple example I am using here. I'm gonna keep that as it is. So uh, here, I. I'm just reading T001 table, but I really don't have any information to be taken from T001 table. Just for an example, I took this table. Uh, I'm explaining this scenario using a constant um, a text, a literal text. So uh, it could be a column of any table, but I'm just in this example, I'm using it um, a fixed value. So I'm using a substring function to uh, to get the uh, text um, from 10th character to five characters, five character, five character, to five characters more. So I'm gonna activate this and say, okay. I'm gonna display the data in it and just to see how it is appearing. I can see that it is, um, um, starting from yen, that's the 10th character, uh, it, it displays five characters. I just wanted to uh, shift um, one more character so that I get um, the text from, text from the symbol, the special character symbol. So for that I'm going to switch uh, the number to 12 and then just keep the five as there. So that's going to be okay. Activate it and say open with data preview. Now this time I can see test is coming in for all the rows. So this is a simple substring function um, uh, which can be used in above CDS views. So in many cases we may have to um, uh, transform this uh, data uh, dynamically, which means uh, we cannot hard code or make a literal um, number as a position to separate the string. So in many cases, it, the hyphen symbol can come in fifth character or ninth character. We wanted to make that uh, split uh, characters place uh, as a dynamic value. So when I try to do that with a, a formula, another function. Uh, I used in string function to get the 
uh, the position of the uh, the special character in, in this string and then it's supposed to give 12 I can if you uh, are executing this particular function uh, outside of this substring function I'm going to get the 12 value for in string function so I have used that function um, in the place of position argument uh, sorry position parameter technically I'm expecting uh, number 12 to be passed in to this parameter and then it should, it should give the same result as the above uh, substring function column in the select statement but you can see that there is an, um, a syntax error uh, so it says the um, um, actually I'm going to say it's going to be a syntax error here um, only literals possibly positive integers allowed so you cannot have a formula or another function to be used as a uh, um, to get the to get the literal value so that's a limitation uh, so with that um, there are many scenario scenarios in above series we cannot transform the data uh, dynamically uh, using string functions so now let's talk about uh, how do we overcome this limitation. So we got uh, a powerful mechanism in SAP HANA uh, SQL scripting uh, to get the uh, string functions like um, substring before and substring after. These functions can, uh, this, the, by using these functions, you will be able to, in a very easy way. The way you will be accessing the SQL script in ABAP Series View is going to be through the AMDP um, ABAP Managed Database Process uh, Procedures uh, Scripting. So you can call a table function to the re to access the native HANA SQL script and then process uh, all your transformations in table function using native HANA SQL script and then you will be able to get the data back into the above output. So to conclude, I believe uh, using table function, um, AMDP functions uh, is the way uh, to overcome these limitations. I think that's it for uh, the, for this session. Um, I'll come up with a different topic in the next uh, session. Uh, for detailed training on S4 HANA above series views embedded analytics, reach out to me or at uh, surumpali at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.